Good evening and welcome to Perspectives Daily. I'm Noel Ocal. This morning, the Holy Father celebrated his morning Mass at Casa Santa Marta with the Melkite Greek Patriarch of Antioch, calling it a sign of apostolic communion between the Latin and the Eastern Rite churches within the Universal Church. Instead of delivering a homily, the Pope said a few words about the meaning of the day's celebration. This Mass with our brother, Patriarch Yusef, the Pope said, confirms our apostolic communion. He is the father of a very ancient church, and he comes to embrace Peter and say, I am in communion with Peter. The Melkite Greek Church is a church rich with its own theology within the Catholic theology and its own marvelous liturgy. This Mass, the Pope said, is being celebrated for the people of the Melkite Greek Church and for the persecuted Christians in the Middle East who give up their lives, goods, and property because they are being driven out. The Pope also mentioned that the day's Mass is also offered for the ministry of our brother Yusef. It was five years ago this Friday the 11th that Pope Benedict left the world speechless with the announcement of his resignation. And two days later, Pope Benedict provided more details at his weekly general audience as the world was still trying to make sense of the announcement. It was then Father Federico Lombardi, the director of the Holy See Press Office, who was tasked with a difficult job of trying to explain it all to the media in what he describes as the single most significant event in his 25 years of service under three popes. I had a chance to talk with Father Lombardi about that historic world event, and here's what he had to say. The most uh, relevant moment uh, was the renunciation of Pope Benedict. Uh, as he has announced his renunciation, and I had to explain this uh, to a big number of journalists. This was a, obviously a very important and historic moment. I understand that it was not, diff not easy for the other to understand because um, uh, many centuries <laughs> there was nothing similar. And then uh, I had to try to help the people to uh, experience this situation in a positive way. As a, a great decision of Pope Benedict for the uh, good of the Church and in a totally uh, free responsibility before God, an act of profound spirituality. This was, uh, I think, the most relevant moment of my service, yes. Um, I have never said exactly when I was informed about this. I say always I was informed before, but not a long time before. In any case, in any case, it was clear for me that he was reflecting about this already a long time before, because he had answered to the question of uh, uh, Peter Sewald in uh, Light of the World, uh, saying that if the Pope would be in the situation not to be able to, uh, to do very well his ministry service for the Church, he had to resign, or it was possible that he would resign. In this sense, it was clear for me that he had this uh, possibility in mind. Uh, and with uh, the uh, <coughs> different uh, trips that he had to do, uh, the last was in Lebanon, it was very engaging and tiring for him. He has done all very well, but it was rather clear that he was, uh, it was uh, understandable for me that uh, if he had in mind to decide this time was coming uh, more near to us. And finally tonight, the Archdiocese of Edmonton has just released funeral details for Emeritus Archbishop Joseph McNeil. Events will take place this week starting on Thursday afternoon at St. Joseph Basilica with Mass presided by Archbishop Richard Smith, followed by public viewings and vigil prayers. The funeral Mass will be celebrated the next day at 12 noon, followed by the interment at the Holy Cross Cemetery. And that is all that we have time for today. I'm Noel Local. Join us again tomorrow when I bring you more news and stories to the perspectives of a Catholic lens. And thank you for joining us.